Hello. So, uh, these uh, are the Straytek Stratum SC something something. I forgot the name, but it's in the description. Uh, I finally finished them, and uh, in the end, I used uh, the Captain film. So it has 12 micron aluminium foil on top of the what is it? 12 micron really expensive Captain foil uh, with adhesive. Um, made into a ribbon that is supported by the foam as, as you've seen in a few videos already. I just redid them and I thought you know I'm not gonna make another video about redoing the same thing. Um, resonance is around 280 Hertz 300 somewhere in that region. Uh, it's fun it's funny that you can see that width is determines that, that determines the resonance like mainly so both are exactly the same even if you had like slightly more tension in the vertical direction the resonance is exactly the same so that's funny um yeah as i mentioned multiple times it's not an ideal line source this is about the worst length you could have it it's either in this case too large for a normal tweeter and it's way too small for a line source so if you would make this sound perfect you need like three of them or maybe even four I can imagine you have some really nice distortion figures if you do by the way but um, the only thing that might be a problem is because the magnets are not that strong um, if you have enough top end them but you could use them probably without a baffle as I do right now uh, just to compensate a little bit um, I don't use a baffle right now they're crossed at 400 Hertz 425 Hertz actually 24 dB per octave same goes for the woofer they can play a little bit lower even depend it's all depending on how loud you play of course I cannot see anything from the resonance and the distortion that comes with it back in the measurement even if I play it like much louder than I like to uh, in the distortion plot up here or that's covering my face right now you can see where the woofer stops playing since they're, they're, the, all, the, all the distortion is there and then it's just it's flat line sort of not completely of course but you can see quite the difference between what is what driver doing in the frequency range just by looking at the distortion so I'm gonna play uh, two tunes uh, yeah it's you know these filters and I oh I also used a ow I used a notch filter at seven and a half kilohertz uh, 5 to be down and a Q of 1 that will flatten out the hump you get and this hump is also in the original measurement although flattened of course uh, but I assume it's the magnet array itself I mean I've seen this in several speakers and usually for tweeters if you want to have it really flat ditching the front magnets helps of course it will come with a uh, downside which is lower SPL and maybe increased distortion when played loud but if you just go for really flat that's the way to go in this case the magnets are really thick so they create some sort of cavity resonance or something I don't know um, if you tilt them a little bit backwards that hump gets goes down a little bit uh, also if you add a baffle or at least an uneven baffle for instance it also gets down a little bit but not enough there is a hump naturally it's also visible in the original measurement of them that I don't have here to show you but also I don't know how they measure that from what distance at what baffle so it's completely I don't know I measured this around one meter in the measurement you will see it's uh, unfiltered it's uh, not gated because um, yeah it's it's of no use uh, at the way it is standing right now and I just wanted to have a 
sort of feeling of what we hear on the couch slightly sort of in the region now let's play a tune ow oh Ooh, this carpet is dirty well anyhow Well, I wanted to focus on the speaker, but of course there's not much to see, it's just a black hole. <clears throat> Let's engage the recorder here. The recorder is sitting on the couch around two meters, slightly more, two and a half meters away from the loudspeakers. Uh, around the height of the middle of the panel. So yeah, let's check if it's running. It is. Okay. I unplugged the power of my laptop because it induces all kinds of annoying noises because this laptop sucks or my preamp sucks, maybe both. So one song, uh, The Way I Am, Ingrid Mikkelsen, I guess somewhere Nordic artist, and Evi de Visser, Kantlein. Uh, oh yeah, all the resonance and distortion you might hear are the woofers or my ceiling or the CD that holds up the panels. But it's coming from the bass driver or induced by the bass driver. Might be the bass driver itself, although that would be weird, I think. There we go. There are some resonances of the wooden box or something, I don't know. If you were falling, then I would catch you. You need a light, I'd find a match, cause I.
maakt mijn wereld zo klein. Dit is nu hoe simpel het kan zijn. Alle dagen steentjes rapen langs de kantlijn. Alle golven volgen tot ze weg zijn. Vergeten na te denken maakt mijn wereld zo klein. En de avond, ja de avond valt in het water als de zon zakt. Dan zwem ik tot de bodem waar ik honderdduizend mooie stenen vind. En ik weet toen ik ze gooide lang geleden op avonden als deze. Toen was ik nog maar een kindje. So one thing, um, and I can show you in this picture above, this is the impedance measurement and as you can see the resonance is exactly the same. There's a slight resistant change in between, which is like 0.3 ohms, so not a big deal. Uh, and a matter of fact is it doesn't do something for the output. There is something that does more in difference between these two. And the difference is that one of the panels uses five centimeter long magnets instead of the original, or at least the other version that uses only 10 centimeter magnets. And that will make a difference in the SPL. And I cannot change that. So there is a 1.2 dB difference in those. So for the person that owns these, I reckon he go active because well, it makes stuff a lot easier than going passive in this case. So it's it's kind of, well, they're not from the same era. They just put two speakers together while they change their production process, apparently, in between. So I cannot help that. Uh, was there another thing? Yeah, SPL, I don't know because I did not measure that yet, but I think it's around 86, 87, something like this. So usable, and then again, if you go active, that makes things quite a lot easier to match them to whatever woofer you are, you're using. Um, I'll never gonna repair speakers, at least for the, the next few years, that I don't know for people. I got very often emails about, can you repair this? Can you make a foil for that loudspeaker? Can you, uh, I probably can, but this took me more like five or six full days trying stuff and figuring it out, which is not worth the money for me because I cannot ask someone to, you know, pay probably more than that they were new back in the day. So it's not, it's not useful for me. At least now I learned something uh, and they were standing here already and I decided to do it, but I am <clears throat> not gonna do that again. So I hope he will enjoy them and make a nice pair of loudspeakers with them. And uh, the next time you see me doing something like this, it's probably my own design because, well, it's much more fun to be fair. So far, uh, they don't disappoint me at all, but they should be far longer than they would be really, really nice. 
they're still nice, but the more the better. See you next time, and if you like the content, then please um, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you for the supporters that stuck around, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.